and take it all in and keep taking it in until the next time you get to do this process. The world is here for you. Now, the grand discovery is about to happen. So to slowly feel your feet come back in the area where you are and slowly open your eyes, take a deep breath and get ready to go for it, whatever it is you're going to go for, and watch and be happily surprised. We're going to do a wonderful rapid transformational vibrational technique, a breathing exercise. It's very short, uh, and all it takes is for you to find a space where you're not going to be bothered for about five minutes. And if you can't find five minutes in your day when you're not going to be bothered, then that's your first big victory that you're going to accomplish for today and tomorrow that you're not going to be able to set that up that you have something to look forward to, that you have five minutes each day to do this practice. So this practice is all about the truth that is possible in a very short period of time to re-energize your body um, without having to think about it. And so if you'll just allow our conversation here to have you just relax and don't look at your phone and keep the you know notifications off and no interruptions, and then just sit there with your eyes closed or lie down on the surface. And then let's just follow along together. And if you'll do that, you're going to notice that it's not difficult and you don't have to worry about anything. And then in the end result, your capacity uh, and your verb and your interest and your magnetism towards taking on the next project will be so much more fun because your body doesn't have the residual of what a lot of people call burnout, which means that I feel for some reason that this isn't fun anymore, whatever I'm doing, either because it's ripping against my body, I'm just pushing myself, not getting enough sleep, or there are people are relating to me in a way that it isn't fun to be around this group of anymore doing this kind of activity, or the activity itself is something that has become uh, mundane, boring, and doesn't have any real excitement to have you want to do it. You don't feel either creative or you don't feel like you're using your capacities. And if you don't feel like you're growing, then you can feel burnt out. So just take a deep breath and just recognize that pretty much all of us are subject to that happening. If you just listen to the noise that we hear from the time that you're in first grade on up through where whatever social media you're watching or whatever thing you're taking a look at, whatever article you're reading, whatever uh, news that you're uh, connecting to. And the reason being is that the, this whole process called the matrix, which is mostly misinformation about that there's always waiting for the other shoe to drop, or always that there's going to be a thing that's going to be something off that you've got to focus on before you can really experience just taking a deep breath. So why don't you take a deep breath now? And I think you can take a deeper breath than that. So let's try it. There you go. Now see if you can take a deep breath and fill out the back. Uh, you've got the front of your chest going. Now breathe the back of your chest so that you've got the front and the back. Going. Just let yourself try to fill that up. And let it come out slowly on its own. And then notice that you also have the size of your chest that you can breathe like under your armpits. So include those now so that you're going to breathe under your arms. Let's try it. And when you notice when you do that, your shoulders seem to ride up and down. 
And as you're focusing under your armpits, just breathing in as much air as you can on both sides, then it's not difficult at all to include the front of your chest, the back, and the arms, armpits, but together, and let's do it. There you go. And so, and, and you may notice that now you're getting more air in the back than you were before, and that's the way it's supposed to feel. Your whole body is supposed to get actually a feeling as if it can take in more and more air with each breath as we enjoy doing this process. And so you actually can breathe because of the diaphragm under the ribs. You, you actually can breathe further down into your abdomen at the same time. So go ahead and try that. I'll do it with you. Yes, you, it can include the front of your chest and the back of your chest and under your arms while you breathe the front of your belly. So you're just going to let your stomach go out and in. Nobody's watching, so it doesn't matter whether you're letting your stomach go way forward and come way back or whatever motion it's making. Just give it a chance to take a break. Now notice that also the back of your abdomen, your spine, your low back, can move also. Really, all parts of your body are ready and need to keep moving. So breathe into your low back at the same time as you breathe into your belly. And sometimes it's easy to notice as you breathe into your low back that for some reason your whole pelvis becomes unhooked and it starts rocking, which is sort of a cool feeling. That if you're sitting or lying down, you can almost feel like that you're sort of going up, but your whole body's being lifted up and down as your pelvis does a rock with, as it gets more air going towards the posterior, which is very good for you. And as you breathe this oxygen under your direction into your entire front abdomen um, and your back at the same time, it's okay to just let it go because there's so much room in your legs and your knees and the rest of your body. There's so many spaces in there when we look at it under the microscope that you can breathe and actually breathe down into both of your legs at the same time. I know it's kind of funny, the idea of it, but it's not really that solid. It's really much more of a fluid substance that you're walking around in the bones, bodies, fascia, nerves, blood vessels. So breathe all the way down into the thighs and the legs and the ankles and then your feet. Notice that your feet are like, well, you've got some toes there, so they could wiggle as you breathe. So let them just sort of acknowledge that you're taking a big breath into your toes. I think you can breathe deeper now. I'll get you to breathe all the way down. You've got to now include your abdomen and your thighs and your knees. Keep going. And your ankles and your toes. And you can take in more air, you know. Go ahead. And then just let it slowly come out and allow yourself then to just naturally just float for a moment. You don't have to focus. You just get the chance to let go. And as you let go, it's not too difficult to notice that your neck sort of just takes a break and sort of relaxes backwards. And it's okay. Your shoulders sort of drop a bit. And you've already got the breathing down. And if you're just see that in front of your eyes with your eyes closed there's sort of a dark space there um but it's not really solid it's actually sort of heavily sort of grayish blackish tan there's even little light flashes there but there's sort of this whole space that is present while your eyes are closed that's really interesting to just Appreciate because it's it's not sitting still. It's actually moving. It's like you can see the sort of little flex moving here and there, and a little light flash there. 
um, sort of like there's a screen over your whole forehead with your eyes closed. And uh, like in the summertime, you might see lightning bugs show up, a little flicker here and there. But it's 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 interesting that that whole area is relaxing and taking a break also, starting to enjoy all this wonderful oxygen and air that you've brought into your body. And it's giving you a chance to have your back of your brain and your neck completely hold even more space. Because there's, yeah, that's right. There's more space to breathe in going all the way up to your neck to your head and the top of your head and as you just let yourself float there that's not difficult at all to see that there's a little slight little dot in this somewhere near the center of that black space above your eyebrows your eyes closed so it's just sort of moving around like going around in a little circle or back rotating on itself and uh as you breathe you can watch it as you can breathe it, it'll move back, you know, back into your back of your head. You can breathe it down into your chest. Sort of follows your instructions. Sort of cool that you can breathe it down all the way down to your toes. Remember where we were? And then as it goes down both legs, it still seems to keep its you know, sort of this shiny gold, silver, platinum eminence to it. And it's not really a smooth shaped structure. It's a sort of a roundish thing, but it does move. And it's sort of interesting if you just let go and watch it as it floats back up through your knees, rolls around there. And for some reason, as it rolls through every area, it's even easier to have that area sort of take a break and get to feel what it wants to feel. And then your abdomen is, you've got plenty of space for that little gold silver platinum dot to roll around and you can breathe in there. And you'll see that as you breathe your abdomen out, sometimes it will be extend quite a bit and then other times it'll really get flat and it's it's fun to watch it it's almost automatic this whole floating process can be just one thing you can just enjoy the ride and as you allow that gold silver platinum little dot as you can sense it or feel it as you breathe it up from the heart space up to your neck back up to your forehead you can see that if you wanted to, you could actually send it out, you know, maybe like a, a geyser at Yellowstone up 10 feet above your head. And then they just have it rotate around there and then breathe it back down. And as it goes up and down, there's sort of a trail of little light flippers that you could almost like a kite spring, you could pull on them pull yourself up even a little bit higher off your surface than you are now. Just float in a different position. It'll hold you. And then as you bring the silver platinum gold dot down, it's there for you in that space that you can just make a goal that for the next period of time, you're going to get the over your best imagination, beyond your best expectation results of what you would enjoy and accomplish and even have some positive surprises. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, of things you weren't even expecting that are going to contribute to what you're going to be doing in the next period of time that is going to make it so much more unique and special and fun. Just enjoy having that 
focus that that's certainly possible and it'd be a good thing to ask for in this place of sort of floating you smile about that because you could actually experience feeling that in the future that what would, what would happen if it was so much more exciting fun and neat and even gave me some things i wasn't even expecting that were just really wonderful i'm glad i was there being alive able to do it something to smile about maybe even a little smile medium smile and then just take your hands and rub your hands together and make some friction on your hands and then put your hands over your heart space and just leave them there for a second and just slowly allow all that energy that you've taken in and all the space that's been created for you to now go get to have fun just restabilize and get to be used and take it all in and keep taking it in until the next time you get to do this process the world is here for you now the grand discovery is about to happen so to slowly feel your feet come back in the area where you are and slowly open your eyes take a deep breath and get ready to go for it whatever it is you're going to go for watch and be happily surprised thank you thank you for being here with us today i love being with you and the information we've got we've got so much more coming so please subscribe if you would like to hear more in-depth information from us and oh we've got a gift for you please look in the writing below there's a link for a gift we're going to send you and there's so many more things we can't wait to send you so thanks for being with us today